Ouch. I guess it's time to set up some soft limits. I've recently added some homing switches to my old Sidewinder CNC and I have it set up to home in the back right of the machine. I don't have any limit switches to detect over travel on the left side of the machine or in an X negative direction or in the front of the machine or Y negative direction. So I'm going to set up some soft limits in the Mach 3 software to prevent the machine from crashing into the frame. Once I've homed the machine and the machine coordinates are all at zero, I can jog the X axis in the negative direction and stop just short of running into the frame. Then I can look at the DROs and see that the X has moved negative 38.7868 inches. Then I'll write down that number so I'll remember it when I go to set up my soft limits. Next, I'll jog the Y axis forward in the Y negative direction, again stopping just short of hitting the frame. Then I'll check the DROs again and see that the machine traveled negative 27.1051 inches, so I'll jot that number down as well. Finally, I'll lower the Z axis until it's just past the top surface of the machine bed and note that negative 3.1559 inch dimension. Now that I know how far my machine can move away from the home position without running into the frame, I can plug those numbers into my soft limit settings in the Mach 3 software. To enter the soft limit settings, I'll go to config, then homing slash limits, and then pop up my touch keyboard to enter the numbers. For the X axis, the soft max will be zero, and for the soft minimum, I'm going to enter negative 38.5 inches. Then I'll tab down to the Y axis and enter zero for the soft max and negative 26.5 inches for the soft minimum. The Z axis soft max will be zero, and I'm going to use negative three inches for the soft minimum. And finally, because my Y and A axis are slaved together to move the Y axis, I'll enter a soft max of zero and a soft minimum of negative 26.5 inches for the A axis to match the Y axis settings. Once all of the settings are entered, I'll hit config again and click save settings. Then I'll press the button to turn on the soft limits and jog the machine to test them. When I hold down the left arrow key to move the X axis to the left, the machine stops at negative 38.5 and it's a safe distance from the frame. Next, I'll press the down arrow key and hold it, and the Y axis stops at the negative 26.5 dimension without hitting the frame. And lastly, I'll press the key to move the Z axis down, and it stops at the negative 3 inch dimension. Hopefully, if you made it to the end of this video, you now know how to properly set up your soft limits on your machine, so crashes will be a thing of the past. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always read all the comments left on my videos. Be sure and hit the thumbs up before you go, and click subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload my next video. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.